Amen. So, bak according to Mang Sidya, ikigrow ko talaga ang kanyang wish. Pero doon ang tagay ni Shempre. And I will discuss it to you. Now, the title of the, title of the topic is Rest for the Cure. Who are, who are we, teachers? We are also carers of our students. So this is for you, rest for you. So the learning objectives of our topic this morning is first, understand what is mental health and well-being. Second, is the point to central strategies to maintain positive mental health. And third, strategize programs to help develop holistic well-being and positive work ethics. Our aspects of mind is we have we are composed actually down. We are composed of set of six factors down. First is our physical health. We are we should be healthy physically for us to be uh, called a complete human being. So physical, it involves all na nakikita natin sa pang labas natin anyo. Next is behavior and our behaviors and our, our attitudes. Third is our social. It involves friendship, interpersonal relationships. Next is emotional. So it involves our emotions. Okay, our feelings. Our, so that involves sadness. That involves happiness. Next is our spiritual or our connection to God, our vertical connections. And last is our mental. So that involves the mind. Now, mental aspect is the intellectual processing, thinking and analyzing of thoughts. It is coming from our brain or from our mind. Through our mental capacities, we can comprehend, we can understand, and make sense of ourselves and of the outer world. Learning, so it's called the mental aspect is the learning and the executive center of our being. Now, it's very important for us to develop positively our mental aspect. That's why, according to World Health Organization, according to the men mental health of our well-being, mental health is not just the absence of mental disorder. It is defined as a state of well-being in which every individual realizes his, his or her own potential, can cope with the normal stresses of life, can work productively and fruitfully, and is able to make a contribution to her or his community. So it's important now that not only we are free from problems or from diseases, but we can also work productively. We can also cope with the normal stresses of life, because stress is Come on, we cannot live without stress. Stress is always there. It's our reaction towards stress that determines how our mental aspect or how our mental well-being will be developed. Okay. Now, we teachers, if normal, if normal people have stresses, teachers have greater stresses. Do you believe that? Because we deal with different people in our classroom, we are not only handling one or two persons. Like the businessmen, they can just choose, di ba? One or two persons at a time. But we teachers, we handle several students, sometimes now 50, 60, all at the same time. Now, so stress for us is very common. And what is stress? Anybody from the group on stress? Do you know stress? I have already provided the meaning, but for you, what is stress? I will talk so, or you will volunteer? I will talk so. Okay, Mom Geraldine, what is stress? For me, stress is something that you are uncomfortable in a certain situation or something that uh, Basta you are uncomfortable. Okay, you are uncomfortable. Thank you. What is stress? Uh, Sir Anna, what is stress? 
Stress is something that distracts your mental and your emotional stress. Emotional stress. Okay, if you're emotional, well-being. So here, according to the definition I got in the uh, Google, stress is a feeling of emotional or physical tension. So sa physics tension, what is it? Tension may merong stretch, merong force. Okay. So it can come from any event or thought that makes you feel frustrated, angry, or nervous. So it's almost the same sa definition na binigay ni Ma'am Geraldine kanina. Okay? So stress is something that makes you uncomfortable. Okay? So that it makes you feel frustrated, angry, or nervous. Now also, stress is our body's reaction to a challenge or demand. In short, bursts. In short bursts, Stress can be positive, such as when it helps you to avoid danger or meet a deadline. That's why there are two types of stress. It's you stress as distress. What is the positive kind of stress? You stress. You stress. The stress is the negative kind. That's why in the Bible there are a lot of verses that found that you do not be distressed because I will be with you. That's why the stress is the negative. You stress is the positive. So sometimes, katulad niyan, nanalo ka na uh, 1 million pesos. Okay, pagka manalo ka ng 1 million pesos, na-stress ka. Pero positive ang uh, effect. So that is you stress. Okay. So what are the causes of work stress? So there are two types of stress. We have life stresses, and work stresses. So first that I will discuss is the causes of work stresses. What are the causes? First is being unhappy in your job. Who are unhappy being a teacher here? Sir Ken, you are unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> unhappy without salary or with the figure of the book? <laughs> Okay. Having a heavy workload or too much responsibility. Who is guilty? Huh? Having a heavy workload or too much responsibility. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Working long hours. Yes. Oh, that's why we are so stressed. Having poor management and clear expectations of your work. Or no say in the decision making process. Yes, exactly. That's why we have the TBC that is complaining regarding the opening of the classes two weeks down on break natin, di ba? We have that. Working under dangerous conditions. <laughs> dangerous conditions? Kasi COVID yung katabi natin. I know someone. I know someone who is uh, who is experiencing this one. Hindi na taloy siya mga tulo. Having to give speeches in front of colleagues. <laughs> oh, normal na no, normal na sa atin. Pero sometimes there are uh, teachers who have stage fright. Teacher ka pa may stage fright. <laughs> and hindi ka nakakapagsalita in front of your fellow teacher, your colleagues. So you have this, you have stress, this is stress ka, na greater pa na stress. Facing discrimination or harassment at work, especially if your company isn't supportive. Meron ba tayo dito? Oh, mabuti na lang mabahit ang mga taga-tapas National High School. So, hindi tayo lang discriminate ng ating fellow teachers. Now, we have also causes of life stress. Now, what are them? Well, what are they? Pala? The first one is the death of a loved one. Okay, like Franz Rica, diba? So, meron siya stress kasi namatay ang kanya mother. We have undergone divorce. Wala man dito divorce. Wala kayong kilala? Or life or separation or adultment. 
Number 17, you feel safe and protected. Number 18, you have many worries. Number 19, you are under pressure from other people. Number 20, you feel discouraged. Number 21, you enjoy yourself. Number 22, you are afraid for the future. Number 23, you feel you're doing things because you have to, not because you want to. Number 24, you feel criticized or judged. Number 25, you are light-hearted. Number 26, you feel mentally exhausted. Number 27, you have trouble relaxing. Number 28, you feel loaded down with responsibility. Okay. Now solve your uh, scores. So it consists of 30 items. The perceived stress questionnaire was developed as an instrument for assessing the stressful life events and circumstances that tend to trigger or exacerbate disease symptoms. PSQ is a potentially valuable tool for evaluating the underlying causes of sleep disturbances. Higher scores indicate greater levels of stress. Okay. So, pag hindi ang nababang score nyo, ibig sabihin, stressed kayo. Stressed ka mga na? AP and above. Sino na naka-score na uh, 20? At 30, sa natin na 30? 30, ibig sabihin mo, you feel lighthearted talaga. Pag 30 ka lang, kasi mga natin, Sixty plus na ko ba eh? Now first, from what you should do. Okay, what's the problem at the back? Are you so stressed there at the back? Can you get to settle down, please? Let's continue on with our topic. Okay, don't be stressed. Okay. Now, so for you to be not stressed, you should first talk about your feelings. Okay, it's hard sometimes to talk about feelings, right? Sometimes it's easier to just joke around, to just eat, to just uh, talk about superficial things, but not about our true feelings. But talking 
Something about your feelings isn't a sign of weakness. So sometimes because we think it's weakness, but it's not. It's part of taking charge of your well-being and doing what you can to stay healthy. So sometimes it's also hard to choose people or some persons you can share all your feelings with. So sometimes, so you have to identify someone you feel comfortable with and who will be supportive of you. You may want to think about what you want to disclose, who to, and when a good time and place to do this could be. Okay, so dito ba what you said naman sa atin, we have close uh, friends. So, so sometimes we have to be choosy so we can share our feelings too. Kasi not everyone are receptive of us. So, yun. Next is, you have to keep active. So, kanina nag-Zumba tayo, di ba? Ang galing ng mga instructor natin sa Zumba. So, yun. Tapos, it's also good to have a regular exercise. Because regular exercise can boost your self-esteem and can help you concentrate, sleep, look, and feel better. Experts say that most people should do about 30 minutes exercise at least 5 days a week. Okay. So, 30 minutes, 5 days a week. Okay. Next is, we have to, number 3, eat well. So, what we eat can affect how we feel both immediately and in the long term. A diet that is good for your physical health is also good for your mental health. Regular meals plus plenty of water are ideal. And try to plan for meal times at work. Try and get away from your desk to eat. You could try a lunch club at work where you club together to share meals and try new things. So, according to me, I've seen it in my previous department. Because they get away from their they get away from their desk and they try to eat together and they share jokes. Then, sometimes I'm with you and I'm eating with you. Okay. Now, four. You drink sensibly. So, di ba, nung nag-get away tayo, nag-drink-drink kayo, so you drink with the thought na huwag naman magpawasak. Di ba, hindi wasak na drinking. O di yung pang-happy lang, happy lang, happy-happy lang. So, we often drink alcohol to change our mood. Some people drink to deal with fear or loneliness, but the effect is only temporary. So, be careful with work functions that include drinking. It can be tempting to have a drink to get Dutch courage, but if you feel anxious, you will drink too much and end up behaving in a way to broaden not, which will increase feelings of anxiety in the medium to long term. So you should not drink na pa sobra, lalo na kapag during work functions. Kasi sometimes you will be able to do things na you will regret. Okay. Next is you, number five, you keep in touch. Relationships are key to our mental health. So, to have a good relationship, we should keep in touch with our friends. Diba? With our relationships naman eh, diba? With friends, with classmates na, old classmates, ganon. Working in a supportive team is hugely important for our mental health at work. So, at work then, we should, ah, uh, ngayon nga yung sinasabi sa atin, di ba, na yun yung namang Geraldine, yung namang Moen, yung namang Sylvia, na kung kailangan mo ng tulong, pumunta ka doon sa mga kagrupo mo, di ba? You should keep in touch with them so that they can help you. Okay. Try and make sure you maintain your friendships and family relationships even when work is intense. Our work-life balance is important and experts now believe that loneliness may be as bad for our health as smoking or obesity. Number six, ask for help. So related siya sa keep in touch, di ba? You ask for help. None of us are superhumans. Except, siguro may papa, di ba? Joke lang. Di ba? Okay. So we all sometimes get tired or overwhelmed by how we feel or when things don't go to plan. So when that happens, we should ask 
has grown up for hours, we're friends for our work, uh, workmates. The first part of call and help service, or kapag naman, uh, kailangan na natin ng tulong uh, to deal with stress. Kailangan naman natin tumawag ng general practitioner. Or we have third visit to general practitioner about mental health. Your general practitioner may suggest ways that you or your family can help you. Or they may refer you to a specialist or another part of the health service. Your general practitioner may be able to refer you to a counselor. So, kung mangyari yun, na sobrang stress na kayo, you sometimes talk to Ma'am Renaline, di ba? Kasi counselors ni Ma'am Renaline. So, may training si Ma'am Renz para ma-unload mo yung burden mo. Kasi, kung hindi mo yan ma-unload sa isang counselor, yun nga, magsisikan ng consult sa doktor. O, pag hindi pa nalunasan niya ng doktor, you may be able to drink medicines. Kasi, mag, kasi nga, di ba, pag nasistress ka, na-apekto mo ng tulog mo. Di ba? So, you should be able to control stress and to react to it positively. Now, second is we should take a break. A change of scene or a change of pace is good for your mental health. When you are on leave or on flowing, resist the temptation to check in with work. You should take a break. Sleep is essential to our mental health. Listen to your body. Without good sleep, our mental health suffers and our concentration goes down here. Number eight, do something you're good at. What do you love doing? What activities can you lose yourself in? What did you love doing in the past? So you should do that. Because enjoying yourself can help beat stress. Doing an activity you probably enjoy means you're good at it. And achieving something boosts your self-esteem. And number nine, you accept who you are. We are all different. It's much healthier to accept that you are unique than to wish you were someone else. Feeling good about yourself boosts your confidence to learn new skills, visit new places, and make new friends. Good self-esteem helps you cope when life takes a difficult turn. Be proud of who you are. Recognize and accept the things you may not do at but also focus on what you can do well. So yun, hindi naman tayo lahat pare-parehos. We are all different. But we have, some, we have something that we are good at. And we should accept ourselves for that. Sometimes, kaya to gawin ni Ma'am uh, Camille, hindi kaya gawin ni Ma'am Jumaima, pero kaya naman gawin ni Ma'am Krisha. So dapat, Pero pag in-accept nila yung differences nila at yung mga something na good at nila, pag nagsama-sama at nag-combine forces, mas lalo magiging maganda ang resulta. So, we should accept who we are. And number 10, and number 10, last is, we should care for others. That's the ultimate goal of human being. That's our ultimate goal dito sa earth, di ba? We should not only care for ourselves, but we should care for others. And this is not uncommon na sa mga teachers. Kasi nga, tayo mga teachers, native na sa atin na mag-care para sa ating mga students. Okay? And also, mag-care sa ating mga fellow teachers. Okay, so caring for others is often an important part of keeping up relationships with people close to you. Helping can make us feel needed, valued, and that boosts our self-esteem. So, di ba? Kapag nakatulong ka pa, nagiging nagbabal, nagbo-boost pa niyong self-esteem. Voluntary can be hugely rewarding, and it helps us to see the world from another angle. Carers and our greater risk of developing mental health problems, but where can provide a respite for carers as they can be someone else at work. So it is important to retain and support carers in the workplace. Now, so as to the as teachers, kailangan natin uh, maging, uh, maging, maging carers talaga at maging genuine carers. Hindi lang ng peking, the 
donkey care. So for our students, let's have our book. Now, according to God, God, sabi ni God, I will be with you. Kasi si God ang greater care natin lahat. Okay, so sabi niya sa atin, if we entrust ourselves to Him, He will care for us. So sabi niya, come to me all of you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke, and this is, and this is easy, for my burden is light, sabi niya. So sabi niya din, I will be with you in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1. Sabi niya din sa Psalms chapter 50 verse 15, I will deliver you. And then, sabi niya din sa Psalms 32 verse 8, I will watch over you. Tapos, sabi niya sa Jeremiah 29 verse 12, I will listen to you. So, we here should remember always, mga friends and mga teachers, now once we are feeling overburdened, we should let, leave everything to God and we should entrust everything to Him. We should take a break, pause, pray, because God will always be there to provide the answers to our prayers. And He will always be there to provide a solution to our problems. So stress, kai, easy lang yan, di ba? So ang, ano ang respond natin sa stress? Palakpakan na lang natin ang Junisha Clark, di ba? Approve, approve, approve. Okay. So, dito lang po tayo nag-e-end. And thank you for listening. God bless you.